Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As a part of ongoing user trials, indigenously developed anti-tank guided missile Helena was again successfully flight tested from advanced light helicopter Rudra on April 12, 2022. Team of Indian Air Force and Army along with DRDO conducted the trial at a high altitude range. This is the second successful flight test in successive days. Second trial was carried out for different ranges and attitude. As per plan, the missile engaged the simulated tank target accurately. The trials were witnessed by senior army commander and scientists from DIDO. With the flight test, consistent performance of the complete system, including imaging infrared seeker Helena, is all set to be inducted into the armed forces. Earlier validation trials of Helena was conducted at Pokhran Range in Rajasthan, which proved the efficacy of missile in desert and hot condition. Initially, Indian Army will need 500 Helena missiles and 40 launchers. Each missile is going to cost close to Rs 1 crore. The Indian Air Force had also asked for the feasibility of integrating the Helena on light combat helicopter LCH. Once integrated, it would further increase the scale in production of the missile and reduce its per unit cost. Helena also has a very good export potential. Helena is developed for engaging heavily armored tanks in all weather conditions during day and night with a minimum range of 500 meters and maximum range of 7 kilometers. The ATGM uses an imaging infrared IIR seeker that locks onto target before launch. The airframe is made up of composite materials with high resistance to enemy countermeasures. The forward dome houses the guidance system. The middle portion of the body accommodate sensor packages and the warhead. A booster rocket is located towards the rear end. Helena consists of four foldable wings and four tail fins that stabilizes it during the flight. A real-time image processor located next to the guidance package helps enable automatic target detection and tracking capability. The digital autopilot helps in guidance, stability and control after the launch. An electric actuation system also helps in flight control. The guidance system is based on an imaging infrared seeker that ensures a high target accuracy in both top and front attack modes. A CCD camera integrated into the guidance system is useful as it is hard to jam. The initial guidance is provided by the area correlation around the target to which is added a centroid tracking mechanism. Homing in the terminal phase is done by the area correlation around the centroid. Now, the land version of Helena rises upward suddenly and then bends at a steep angle to aim for the target and thus gained its famous name after the Cobra. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.